You mentioned Bank of America. Yesterday, the CEO, Brian Moynihan, defended his stock, but his comments were hardly reassuring to B of A investors. John, you mentioned the stock has been taking a drubbing. On a conference call arranged by shareholder Bruce Berkowitz, Moynihan said there aren't many days when he thinks positively about Countrywide. The mortgage lender B of A bought three years ago in what has become a disastrous deal. But Moynihan did say he is confident B of A won't need to raise capital. Based on our view of the future, uh, the risk and stuff of what we've proved, we, we feel very comfortable. If you gave me a four-year recessionary environment, something far different than what people predict, I think that would be different. Is everyone quite so confident? Obviously not. Just take a look at the stock. How about Brian Charles, though? He's an analyst at RW Press Pritch and one of the most accurate when it comes to B of A shares. That makes Brian a Bloomberg best. Brian, welcome back to the Inside Track. Thanks for having me. The pressure on Bank of America shares, it seems you can chalk it up to one of two things. On the one hand, concern about B of A's balance sheet. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, confidence in Brian Moynihan to steer the bank through these troubled waters. Uh, what do you feel most confident about? Well, I'm confident in the company's balance sheet and, and actually its earnings power even more so. You know, right now I think what is really hammering the stock is this mortgage overhang, the reps and warranties and other mortgage securitization um, lawsuits. When you say reps and warranties, things. these are the kinds of things that they've had to negotiate deals on, like that $8.5 billion deal with uh, PIMCO and BlackRock and the New York Fed, et cetera. Exactly, and also with GSEs. They are, they're buying back mortgages that violate reps and warranties and they're having to take the losses on those. And they've taken you know, a number of losses losses so far and I'm expecting them still to probably take about 25 billion dollars of losses before uh, further losses before it's all done. Now you like everybody else would you, w wishes this mortgage issue would just go away. The reality is it's not. How much remaining exposure does Bank of America have to further declines in home prices if we do enter a recession whether it's a double dip or another recession the next recession whatever you want to call it what kind of trouble might B of A be in? Well, I incrementally, the company did give some guidance around what uh, what effect each percentage decline in housing prices would have on the balance sheet overall uh, relative to their current projections, and that would be about I, what I gathered to be about $500, $550 million uh, per percentage point. So if housing prices decline another 10%, that you know, works out to be about another $5 billion on top of the 25 that I've already projected. And is that, I mean, is that a game changer? I, it's, uh, I don't think it's a game changer. It could, it would certainly nudge them closer to the likelihood of having to raise additional capital. As it stands right now, I think they can absorb these, at least the $25 billion, because they've got pre-provision earnings and pre-loss earnings of about what I calculate to be about $8 billion per quarter. So in three quarters, they could absorb this. A couple of days ago, Brian Moynihan was questioned directly about B of A's stake in China Construction Bank, CCB. He mm -hmm. declined to comment on that, saying it's confidential. Today, Reuters, one of our worthy competitors reports that B of A is in talks to sell its stake in CCB citing anonymous sources mm -hmm. would that be a good idea should uh, they do that should they look to raise some capital the easy way by getting out of China this doesn't appear to be that much of a strategic acquisition anymore instead of facing the possible threat of diluting investors at a very low stock price. That's one of a uh, number of options the company's exploring, and I think it's a, a it's a incrementally positive option to actually raising additional capital in the markets. But they have other assets that they're running off, other assets they could sell, and certainly China Construction Bank is one of the larger ones. Brian, before we go, I want you to do what they like to see in Congress. I want you to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on what we heard from Brian Moynihan yesterday. Well, in overall, a thumbs up. The, he did reiterate the company's ability to generate earnings away from its mortgage problems. Didn't go into a whole lot of detail as to what the actual mortgage exposure could be when all said and done, but that's unknown. And I think that's also hurting the stock right it's now. It's a tough job for a CEO talking up your stock. Brian, thanks for being here. Brian Charles, analyst at RW Press Pritch. He thinks Brian Moynihan did a pretty good job, and he's maintaining his speculative buy on B of A shares.